we want to determine the relative extrema for the given polynomial function using Desmos. Let's begin by going to desmos.com. Once we're on desmos.com, we press start graphing and we enter the function in number one. Let's enter y equals two x, enter the exponent of three. We press shift six, three, right arrow, minus 33 x, shift six, two, right arrow, plus 144 x, plus eight. Notice right now we do not have a good window for the polynomial function because we do not see the high and low points. Let's click, hold, and drag the graph to the left. And now let's click on the wrench to adjust the window. What's nice about Desmos is that when we change the window, we will see the change instantly. So let's go down to the y-axis and change the y-interval from negative 100 to positive 100. Notice how the graph changes instantly. If we click on the graph, the window disappears. If we want to, we can click, hold, and drag the graph down to adjust the window as well. Let's click on the wrench again, and because we want to see higher on the graph, let's change the y maximum now to, let's say, 250. And now we quickly have a nice window to view the polynomial function. We can see the high point here, which represents the relative maximum, and we can also see the low point here, which represents the relative minimum. To find the ordered pairs for these points, we simply click on the graph, and then click on the high point, as well as the low point, and the ordered pairs instantly appear. If we want to, we can also click on the intercepts. So this high point has an ordered pair of 3 comma 197, which means at x equals 3, we have a relative maximum of 197, and this low point has an ordered pair of 8 comma 72, which means at x equals 8, we have a relative minimum of 72. Let's record this information. Again, for the local minimum, we know the low point had an ordered pair of 3 comma 72, and for the local maximum, we know we had a high point at 8 comma 197, which means the function has a local minimum at x equals 3 with an output or function value of 72, and the function has a local maximum at x equals 8 with an output or function value of 197. So remember, the x value is always a location, and the y value is the local max or min value. I hope you found this helpful.